I'm Samantha Loren in St. Martin Parish. In Butte La Rose, as temperatures dropped on Monday, many residents were left without water. I spoke with a resident here on Tuesday afternoon who was still left with no water. We prepared by uh, getting water in 55-gallon uh, drums outside to be able to uh, flush our toilets. Since 8.30 Monday evening, a Chafalaya Acres neighbors in Butte La Rose have been finding ways to deal without running water. Jerry Champagne says he was surprised by how early the water was shut off. We uh, were preparing for the freeze and getting ready to take baths, and all of a sudden, uh, water just stopped flowing. And it was 31 degrees outside, and we just could not do anything uh, about it. But this isn't the first time residents of Butte La Rose have had their water turned off in cold weather. Champagne says last year during freezing temperatures, they went three days with no water and wanted to prevent it this year. The same thing happened again, and uh, several people in the neighborhood had called to make sure that this would not happen, and but we were told uh, that they insulated pipes and insulated pumps and it would not happen. Champagne spoke to Henderson Nina Water System President Tuesday morning. He could not give us an answer. Uh, he said that uh, usually the pumps are not shut off, uh, but for some reason it did happen and he was going to be looking into it. Champagne, who's lived in Butte La Rose since 2016, says he's never been able to drink water from the tap and has received letters from Louisiana Health Department stating arsenic levels are in the water. It's so nasty and very, very, very bad. Uh, it has caused very many problems with appliances, washing machines, dishwashers, uh, showers. Everything gets clogged up with this mineral deposit or whatever is coming out of these wells. A few miles away, the town of Henderson faced no water problems during the freezing temperatures. According to Mayor Sherbin Collette, construction on a pipeline extension will soon begin. The project connecting Butte La Rose to Henderson's water system has been in the works for four years. They're getting ready to start on the third port. Once they do that, part of the road will be connected to the water system. Then uh, at the end of the line, then it'll actually turn north, go all the way to Interstate 10. And that's a few miles. That's going to take time, but it's going to be done. It's going to be done. I reached out to Henderson Nina Water System, who said on Monday evening after they lost power, they decided to shut down the water. Crews are currently working to restore water. Reporting in St. Martin Parish, Samantha Loren, KTC TV3.